my background in brewing. So my best friend many years ago taught me, maybe a decade ago plus, uh, how to brew beer in the backyard. Um, he, he just told me one day that we weren't doing anything. Well, uh, let's come, come over to my house and let's try out the brewing process. So we did. Um, and we started on um, a crab oil pot in the backyard uh, with a Gatorade, like those five gallon tanks, and put it into a uh, glass carboy five gallon. And uh, ever since then, I've been brewing. Um, you know, it was one of those things that you know, once you kind of started into it, you kind of find that you get addicted and you have a good time doing it. And, uh, it's hard to complain when you're making beer and drinking at the same time with your best friend. My point comes from uh, where my partner, Chuck Phillips, lived uh, when we started to hang out and together. It's uh, 22nd Street in Upland, California, and uh, there's a neighborhood there where it cuts in, uh, and in that neighborhood, it's like the 22nd becomes a uh, high point. So he was living there, um, a couple of buddies, my best friend being one of them, and they were brewing beer together. And then we started talking some more, and I know Jen for quite a few years, and we ended up uh, brewing beer together. And at the time, my partner and my best friend were talking about breweries and opening one, and uh, I just you know, became involved and more interested, and what ended up happening was uh, my partner and I moved forward with it. And we uh, stole the name High Point because, well, that's where we uh, that's where we started. It seemed like the most, uh, it was the best way to go about naming our beers. What a great name, like High Point. So, uh, San Diego's California. The reason we're here, we ended up, uh, my partner and I both went to and we, we looked around locations we'd like to be in, our cities I should say too, and we kind of bounced around on different spots. But we liked that we're both from Glendora and that we also liked the same as well as we could. We built our on the Foothill community and living here. Uh, you know, I reside in Laverne, so as my partner, it just seemed that San Diego was the best fit. Uh, one, San Diego's not having a brewery, but two, and more importantly, uh, San Diego's actually the chance of this. Uh, so many other cities, you the run around and one aim in particular, but you know, it's always back and forth and it seems like there's one more step and one more person to speak with. But uh San Diego's actually gave us a shot. They looked at us and they said, Okay, why don't you come to City Council and uh walk conversation on about it? So we did the partner I went, sat through the whole thing, and spoke with the city council. Um, the guy unanimous vote, which is fantastic, and we were able to move forward. So my partner and I never forgot that you know, because you actually took a chance to work with us. So we have here that are fairly very popular. Uh, this is one of the first beers my partner and I made together, which was our uh, nice idea. They were really looking the hops on it, just right there on there. We'll have the ABB, the uh, SRM, IBUs on it, so that we know what we're looking at. But this was the first beer. We actually didn't have a name for it. Uh, we knew it was a missing single IPA, and we ended up with a uh, nice day because we named it for my uh, friend, uh, Jamie White, his wife, Katie. Their, uh, their last name is White, obviously, and uh, we were making their wedding. So we made it from here together, my partner and I. Nice day for a white wedding, nice day ideas for him. But we have that one. Uh, all the beers actually have a fun name, so we'll do them. Uh, you have the brown, uh, Tango Brown. If you're looking at uh, that dog, which walk by, it's walk by on that, no premise. And uh, this is Tim Carey and Lee's name, Tango. Uh, yeah, it's a brown ale, it's very popular for us. And so we have uh, River Water. It's our light ale. So uh, we we made this beer because we said we needed a beer that we could actually drink on the river itself. Uh, a lot of these beers, the MVP is, uh, it's up there. You can do a beer as soon as it's at 10%. I uh, can't really drink that when you're on a boat and it's, you know, 115. So we made a beer like this. It's only sitting at 4.2%. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Uh, Uncle Reddy. Another popular for us. Uh, what? It's my partner's oldest recipe. Uh, I'm just ready to name for my best friend who's actually here. Man who actually taught me how to make beer. Uh, that's his beer. Uh, it is fantastic. It's a little more, uh, what would say, uh, almost more like an imperial red, 7.2. 
and after we just take it on the roll. What else we have? Uh, Cure Beer. Uh, Cure Beer is a beer that we made with our first employee. Uh, she wanted a uh, pale ale that was very citrus based, the hop itself. So we, uh, we made it for her birthday actually. And um, just using you know, it's citrus and nut hops, but mainly just citra. Uh, obviously, added at different times. And uh, you see on there, you got a little uh, angry care, little care bear, holding we'll a hop. So, it's very reminiscent of her. So, that's our cure beer. Our full name is Cure Beer Scare on it. And finally, this one is uh, that, a triple IPA. Uh, it does not drink like a triple, it drinks more like a, uh, a very light IPA, but it sits at 10%. Uh, hence why it comes in a half when we come in. Uh, my uh, partner's wife likes to drink uh, beer and wants to blue them, which does is drink triple IPAs. So her name is Catherine, uh, Cat, we'll call her for short. The joke was she drinks too many triple IPAs and she becomes a bad kid. So her, I guess, all three all personality. So that's our last. We have other beers too. We have a, let's see, two fine blondes, also very popular. It's my can of butter and Calm Down, so West Coast Double IPA. Uh, Sovereign in space, it's just uh, with our gut, both of our uh, kind of hazy series that we have going. are both very popular for us. Uh, you grab cans, we also have, let's see, um, Cabo San Diego. So that's just become recently a massive success for us. Uh, it's a Mexican lager beer. Uh, so they're very similar to what like, uh, you can like sip ago. Um, and just they have life in the shop, okay? You can't actually put on. So uh, that's just some of our, our beers you can buy here. I want to give you every detail of all the play. You know, those are those are ones you really need to think of here. And then, like I said, all the information on here to think about what kind of hops sound you like, or go uh, based off of the can sound. Riverwater, a nice day. I would uh, one of those white out once in my beer, but I probably still pair together that I would really be out for one of those beers. They're very light, uh, for a little heavier sit there and uh, we usually drink one of those at the same time when you're drinking or a high uh, burger. Uh, be more of a citrus type style flavor to it. Um, I, you know, I guess you kind of look at like a, uh, almost like a, I don't want to say like a salad type style, like uh, something a little more heavy on like lemon flavor to it, uh, maybe with uh, shrimp. Uh, I would say that would probably be a fantastic beer to pair along with that one. But single brown. Uh, it's not a heavy brown, more of an American style brown ale. But even that, uh, I'd still lump it in with like our imperial, our imperial uh, porter, or style. Um, you know, I think cookies with that, personally. Something of that nature, I, I think would be good. Uh, it's not quite heavy enough to be on ice cream, but it's still, I'd say, like a cookie would be fantastic with that. Uh, the red ale, not this red ale, but I would say. Something like uh, big and it bites. I don't want to know with that. Uh, I have to think about that one actually a little bit more. But the triple IPA is just perfect in everything because while well, we just love triple IPAs in this house, it is the house favorite. So I think it's very well with everything. Any food vendor that comes in. Uh, yeah, I would say that's perfect with anyone. But going back to the red. What would it pair well with? Uh, bite, uh, I don't know, I just heard with everything, so I don't think about it. So I guess that's what I'd go with that one. Just kind of everything like the back kitty. So, yeah, that's what I'd say. Web Beer's Man, 101. So this is the match right here. This is where you uh, come in, you mail it all down. And uh, you dump it in here, get it hot. It's like uh, it's like making tea. That's the idea. Uh, you can steep it, uh, do a couple of funny, fancy things, add a different kind of green style. Let's see, um, we kind of added it. You have to do with water. Uh, it stays in there for X amount of time depending on the beer. That's some type of beers. Uh, to our right, we transferred over to what is a kettle burner, uh, whatever other name someone gave you a quick for it. Um, the main process, you're going to heat it up, boil it at one point, 
Um, sanitizing gear, and then on top of that, you're gonna end up um, adding hops here. Uh, so your hop can come in, uh, give the different flavors and aromas, um, in whatever beer style that you're having. Uh, all these have hops, it just depends on um, what you add, what you get out of it. Uh, other things happening here, between uh, world world and so on and so forth. Well, more technical it needs to be some days, but it's, uh, it's fun. And uh, that's where all the big fun flavors come out of hops in this one. So here, Trans is always one of those submitters. Uh, the beers we have over there currently are, uh, we have four. Uh, mixed Trans over there where the beer is going to sit in the floor, depending on the beer itself. Uh, it can be two weeks, it can be two months, it can be, and then depending off of that, you can still barrel. But uh, the fermenters, uh, we have our four, we're currently making our uh, Stop with space, which is our evening. Uh, Tom down for what's most like to get. Mom's red ale. And uh, Cabo San Dimas from Mexican Lager. Um, one beer here, you know, take two weeks. Like I said, our, our Mexican Lager will take us two months. Uh, once we get here, it's just uh, fermenting, it's making alcohol. Uh, drop the dry hop, put the pores on top, do some. Um, just give it a more of a rough type of it. And yeah, those are our full jackets, the all jackets, the actual cold crash, and then you would take a set of bright tanks on top of it. So, uh, once it's up with that, we transfer from over to a bright tank or okay. And that's just kind of the basics of how to make beer. Many different types of activities here along the city itself. Uh, you know, we we the chamber, we've got mixers here, we've done uh, extravaganza, we do the beer walk every year uh, as the brewery in San Diego. Um, and then in-house activities you'll find us doing are things like trivia or bingo. Um, we also hold different like uh, events uh, such as like a group of group called uh, Team Rubicon, uh, which is for uh, veterans and civilians to uh, go around and uh, they go around the world helping uh, people in disaster areas. Uh, uh, first aid and or um, you know, disaster restoration work held uh, fundraisers for them here. Uh, we've got the police department from Glendora to Rancho Cucamonga, I even tell it, I should say even tell it. Um, let's see, well, you know, if someone's having a party or something of that nature, we definitely throw quite a few of those. And at a point there, we were, with every weekend for a handful of months, we were throwing parties here with bands and, and music and food trucks. And, yeah, that's kind of stuff you'll find around here. Um, you can find us here over here on Arrow. Uh, we're just right in the neighborhood of Red Robin, Applebee's, uh, Serving Mule. We're just a little bit like a block down the road. Uh, not quite San Diego, but you know, a little past that where the old Domino's used to be. Uh, right next to Sanders County. Uh, you can also find us on our website at High Point Brew Company. Or you can more than likely, I'd say, suggest always find us on uh, Instagram. We have a rolling happy hour every day that's constantly changing every couple of hours. So, and then when we are open, Thursdays and Fridays, uh, we do happy hour actually in house, which is always fun. And we can have bands, you know, food vendors, and all of that. You can normally find at any brewery. And then uh, Sundays, we're playing with Brian Buds, doing trivia or bingo uh, from 5 to 7. And then, well, if you're like, can't come in, we're sorry looking to pick our beer up at this point. We have, you know, you'll find us in Lordsburg or Corner Butcher or um, San Diego Slicker, uh, Cleats, uh, let's see who else, Ranch Town Market. And yeah, at this point, there's 25 or different locations you can pick us up. We don't have to wrap or can, so, you know, if you go around off the different spots like Cleats or Ranch Town or even Corner Butcher, you'll find the uh, Sometimes they're getting here that we don't even have ones after anymore, so uh, it's sold that fast here. So I suggest you always kind of pop around to the spot to find new beer from us and enjoy it.